overflows. Why is relating so difficult? To relate is one of the greatest thing in life. It is an art, it is a science, and it is much more. It Indeed, it is a miracle if you know how to relate to someone. Two seeds cannot relate to one another because they are closed. To relate, you must be open like a flower, dancing in the rain water, swaying with the winds freely. Two flowers are open to one another, sharing their beauty and fragrance. If you have that, relating becomes easier. If you are still a closed seed, they cannot communicate with one another. First, the seed has to learn to open and then grow to a certain level so that it blossoms, flowers starts coming, then relating becomes easier. This is the way, if two people are like seeds closed, afraid of one another, they cannot relate. Even if they try, it will be a disaster and a failure. So first of all, you have to learn how to open. To relate means to love, to relate means to share, but before you can share, you must have that. What? That you want to share. Do you know if you have anything to share? Even before this, you must be aware what is that which can be shared. What is that which can be shared? You know the basic things. You can share your room, you can share this, you can share that. But it is not that requires relationship. It is nature and before you can love, you must be full of love, overflowing with love because love is the only thing that is worth sharing. Relating is so difficult, if not impossible, because you are not as yet. As long as you are empty within, there is fear. And if you relate with somebody, sooner or later, you will be exposed as empty, that you have nothing to offer. Hence, it seems safer to keep a distance with people. At least you can pretend you are. You are not. You are not yet born. As you are, you are only an opportunity. Seed is an opportunity. It can blossom, it can grow. It can blossom into beautiful flowers and spread its beauty and fragrance. You are not, a, the flower is the fulfillment of the seed. Flower is the fulfillment of the seed. Seed is the opportunity, seed is the potentiality to grow. Seed means potentiality to grow. To relate is one of the greatest thing in life. It is miracle. To relate means to love, to relate means to share, but before you can share, you must know what is that you have to share. Two seeds cannot relate to one another, two flowers can, they are open, they can spend they can send their fragrance to each other. They can dance under the same sun, in the same, under the same wind. They can have a dialogue, a communion. They can whisper, but they 
but that is not possible for the two seats. Seats are utterly closed, windowless. Then how can you relate? There are people who are seats. They have no windows open. They are afraid. So how can they relate? And that is a situation with you. Man is born as a seed. He has every possibility to become a flower, but he may not. It all depends on you. What you do with yourself. Do you, the seed has the potentiality. It depends upon what you do with the seed. In the hands of a gardener, a seed is fortunate that it will get planted, it will be nourished and nurtured, and one day it will blossom into a beautiful flower. So too, in the hands of a gardener, which is the awakened one, in the hands of awakening, the process of the, the growth or the transformation of the seed will become, will begin. It is not the growth. Instead, it is the possibility of transformation. Seed transforms from its seed state through various stages until it reaches the stage of flowering. However, they never act, become actualized. They do not know what self-realization is. They do not know what self-actualization is. They do not know anything of being utterly empty, they live. Utterly empty, they live. Utterly empty, they die. How can they relate? <coughs> Relating means you are exposing yourself, your nudity, your ugliness, your emptiness, your beauty. Therefore, it is safer. It seems to keep a distance. Even lovers keep distance with one another. They come only so far and they remain alert to when to turn back. They have boundaries, the unseen invisible boundaries. They never cross the boundaries. They remain confined to their own boundaries. Yes, there is a kind of relationship, but it is not that of relating. That is of possession. The husband possesses the wife and wife too possesses the husband. Parents possess the children and so on and so forth. The entire process of possessing is considered as relating. But to possess does not mean to relate. In fact, to possess is to destroy all the possibilities of relating. If you relate, you respect. And when you respect, you cannot possess the other. You give total freedom to the other. If you relate, there is a great reverence. If you relate, you come so close, very, very close, in deep intimacy. Relate, to relate means to enter into intimacy, overlapping is still the other's freedom is not interfered with. With is still the other remaining an independent individual. The relationship is that of I and thou, not that of I, it. Overlapping in <clears throat> impenetrating yet in a sense independent you overlap and yet still you are separate from one another Khalil Gibran says lovers are like two pillars that support the entire building 
maintain their individual identities they are standing separate from one another they say they support the same roof but they do not start possessing the other they leave the other totally independent support the same roof and that roof is that of love two lovers supporting something invisible and something immensely beautiful some poetry of being some music heard in the deepest recesses of their existence deepest core of their being they support each other they support a certain kind of a harmony but they remain independent like different musical instruments they have their separate sound separate identities yet still when they flow they create a harmony they create a melody that brings bliss that brings joy that brings entertainment to one another but still they are separate they flow into the other the percussion flows into mandolin mandolin flows into guitar guitar flows into sitar and all of them together create a musical repertoire they create a harmony they can expose themselves to the other the mandolin is not afraid of percussion percussion is not afraid of piano they are free to move into the other the inner dimension of the other when the music is being prepared for something each instrument flows into the other and with that it creates a different kind of a symphony because there is no fear they know who they are what they are capable of what they are providing to the other to add a new dimension the sound that flows out of this harmony this symphony is a complete blend of various individual instruments free of any effort or anything they are unconscious but in relating you can flow into the other consciously and then relating becomes very easy they know the inner beauty they know their inner fragrance there is no fear so they their the individual beauties and fragrance flows into the other into each other there is there is a process of osmosis the two becomes one and then relation relating becomes a beauty enough for now